Hey guys, so um, we're gonna be doing a little video because this is daily vlog number two here. Um, because we're gonna be making two daily vlogs, three, because tomorrow is the hospital episode. So what are we gonna do today? I visited Gibbs Toyland and I got a haul. Well, I wouldn't call it a haul, I would just call it uh, shopping. But um, I bought a lot of cool stuff that I want to share with you guys. Um, so yeah. Uh, I didn't record in the store because I don't really feel like recording. I pretty much forgot to hit the record button. So I have a couple of clips. So I'll show them to you right now. Aki. Okay, so as you guys just saw the two clips, uh, let's go over everything I have so far. So what we got here first is probably my favorite out of everything I got, uh, is a magnetic gyro wheel. So what I've heard about gyro wheels is that these were called wheelos at one point in the, they were first called wheelos in the 50s and 60s where these were originally being produced. But now they're called gyro wheels, so I imagine it was probably called magnetic wheelos instead of magnetic gyro wheel. So let me show you how this works. And I love how it comes in like this retro box. Makes it very cool. I imagine maybe this is how the original box came in. I have no idea. But uh, I'm going to show you how this works. Real quick. Oops, wrong side. Sorry. All right. So you get the little magnetic wheel thing, you know, the wheelow, the wheel of the wheelow, and then you get the, the frame of the wheelow. Now let me show you how this works. So you get your frame, which is a magnetic frame, then you put the wheel in between right here, right here, exactly like this. Stop blowing up my phone. So it goes exactly like this, and then you hold it from here, and then hold on, it's kind of messed up right now. Real quick, all right. And now it's loose. Great. There you go. So this could keep you busy for hours because it's a lot of fun and you could just play with this all day like I've been doing for most of my day today. Just playing with my gyro wheel. Okay, so you get the idea. It's a fun toy. This came out originally in 1953. But honestly, this is really fun to play with. This is really fun to play with, and yeah. So this is a gyro wheel. Pretty cool, pretty awesome toy. So like I said, I returned, I don't think I said it. Uh, I returned the robot lily put because it broke. Yeah. So, what did I do? I bought another robot. Another vintage robot, and it is called Sparkling Mike. So, this is our Sparkling Mike robot that will replace our robot Lily Put. Um, I like the design of the box. It's a lot more colorful than the robot Lily Put, I would say. Um, it actually has its own little message, which I'll read in a little bit. Sparkling mic, walking tin robot, wind up motor, sparking action, on off switch, walking tin robot. 
this is the one that I originally wanted other than the robot lily, but uh, but I was a few dollars short. Um, so I returned the robot lily put and then I just paid the difference for this one. This one's more expensive than the robot lily put. I think the robot lily put is 23. This is 27. It came out to 27, the robot lily put with tax. This came out to like 30 something. But I paid the difference and I got a 20 with this, the gyro wheel and the sparkling mic. I got a $25 discount. So I only got it for like 15 bucks. I'll show you the receipt. But uh, it's from the same brand. What's really cool is that most of Kip's Toyland's Toys brand is uh, Shiling, which is the brand for the gyro wheel. And it's a very, you can see it here on the side, Shiling for the sparkling mic. And it was for the same for, um, for Robot Lily Put. So let's unbox this guy. Okay, so you take it out. I'm actually going to read this right here to the side. Um, we are excited to bring back the classic 50s sparkling mic. This futuristic looking robot has a simple solid design and a hypnotizing stare. Clearly. Wind him up, set him down, turn him on, and stand back. This walking tin robot has a powerful wind up motor that gives a mighty sparking action. Sparkling Mike is a great addition to any robot collection. They're Shiling Brothers. Very deep. So you just take this off, and what you see is Sparkling Mike's uh, body, his torso. So I'm just gonna take these pieces off right here of cardboard. And he's a bolt in. So this is our sparkling mic. He's bigger than the robot lily put. Um, robot lily put was about this big, and sparkling, my sparkling mic is about seven inches. So what's really cool is that the key doesn't come off, so you don't lose the key. The on-off switch is a lot smoother than the robot lily puts, and these little walk things actually, the legs actually move, and it's not just the bottom. And it has an antenna that moves. His arms move, but that was also a feature for the robot lily put. And so I want you guys to see him in action real quick. All right, so I just winded him up, and let's turn him on. Really quick. That's cool, huh? So we got our sparkling mic robot and we just saw him in action. So that's our sparkling mic robot. It's really, really cool actually. and I really like it. Let me just fix his legs real quick. All right, we got it. So this is a really cool robot and I really like this one because I don't know, it brings a 50s vibe that's really, really cool, and I, it's really unexplainable, like, and the feeling that you have when you go into Kip's Toyland is also unexplainable. I got something in my hand. It's unexplainable, and you just have to go there so you can see it. You have to see it to believe it. That's a popular saying, and it's true when it comes to uh, Kip's Toyland. You have to see it to believe it, that it's a magical place. It's literally like Disneyland, for me, at least. So, same thing when I did the Ikea video that my friends were saying was Disneyland, and it was my first time ever in an Ikea, and really, it did feel like Disneyland, because it was so cool. Um... But yeah, that's our sparkling mic. One last thing I got is a little gift for my mom. It comes in this really nice little pack that says Kip's Toyland, LA's oldest since 1945. That has my mom's name on it. Now let me show you the receipt so you know the difference. So this is the original total, 40, 40 45 and minus 
25.17, which is the original total of the Robot Lily put. I got everything, the gyro wheel, the license plate, and sparkly mic for 15.28. I basically got 50% off, more than 50% off. So I'm, I already got a quick thumbnail shot before I started filming. And let me just put everything back real quick. All right, guys, so that is my Kip's Toyland haul. It was it's really fun to go there. And I feel like you guys should really go. I highly recommend it. The uh, staff is very nice. And I really like going to Kip's Toyland. And definitely recommend the toys that I bought. Um, yeah. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Go visit Kip's Toyland, please. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.